Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter, and Agoracom TV, a daily, fast-paced, edgy show that brings you the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investment. Now, it's Tuesday, December the 18th. I'm back from Dallas. Thanks to Paul for filling in so admirably. I want to give a shout-out and a thanks to Jerry, Bill, Neil, Todd, and the entire Dallas Cowboys organization for hosting us this weekend. Too bad we couldn't pull off the win. We're still going to close the conference, and we'll see you in the playoffs and next year. I've got seven great press releases for all of you today from both sides of the border. Pretty big news, so follow me. Here we go first with Oma Jean trades on the OTC out of the stock symbol OMAG. Disclosure, they are an Agoracom client, but this is pretty big news that stands on its own. They announced today uh, that Consolidated Contractors International, which is the financial arm of Consolidated Contractors Group, better known as CCG, that company is going to invest 40, uh, $49.4 million into Omagene SAOC in exchange for a 12% equity stake in the project. What is the project? Omagene SAOC is presently being organized by the company in the Sultan of Oman to design, develop, build, and operate the company's planned $1.5 billion plus tourism project in Oman. It's expected to be completed in the next four to five years. Manager expected, expects it to become Oman's prime destination for tourists, business travelers, and the local population. The Omagene project is going to include the construction and sale of approximately 3,300 residential housing units, including luxury villas, townhouses, and apartments. A little bit about CCG to show you exactly how big this deal is. Uh, they're an international construction company headquartered in Athens with annual revenues approaching $5 billion worldwide. In 50 years of operation, CCG has grown to become one of the top-rated construction companies in Oman and the Middle East. They've got 125,000 employees, uh, many of them are, which are located in Oman right now. So this is a massive deal for Omajin. We've been covering the company since they're in the 12 to 15 cent range. They've made great progress. They closed yesterday at 89 cents. They've got a 52 Ikai of $2.95. And hopefully this is the kind of news that indicates to everybody that this project is well on its way to being completed. Good news for Oma Jean. Next up, Solar Entertech, uh, Entertech trades on the OTC under the stock symbol SOEN. They announced a $21.8 million deal with Sky Solar in Hong Kong, a subsidiary of the Sky Global Group, to distribute their solar modules. This is uh, uh, the Sky Global is a global distributor and systems integrator of solar panels. How big is this deal? Like we said, $21.8 million, but it's aimed for solar power installation in Spain. It's going to be delivered over a five month period beginning right now, right here in December. December, and the majority of the solar module shipments are scheduled for the company's 2008 fiscal second quarter. So you're talking about a pretty immediate impact at the top and bottom line. The company's trading 83 cents. They've got a mid, that's in their mid-range of trading. Great news out of Solar Enertech. Next up, Yanguru Inc. trades on the TSX Venture Exchange and the OTC on the venture under YOO, on the OTC under YOOIF. They announced uh, the signing of a major U.S. independent music distributor. Before we go into the details of the deal, what does Yangaroo do? They're making a repeat performance here. We love what they're doing. They've got patented digital media distribution system for the music and advertising industries. What does this mean? This is a web-based delivery of music recordings and advertisements to TV stations, radio stations, you name it. Up until now, one of the biggest problems with piracy has been the physical shipment and delivery of music, which gets copied along the way, pirated, and then distributed through the web for free. That's been a major problem. Problem. This company has, uh, has pioneered secure digital file distribution. They include biometrics, high-value encryption, and watermarking. Essentially, it replaces the physical distribution of musical recordings. You've got to like this business. I think this is long-term growth here. It's more accountable, more cost-effective, and, of course, significantly more secure. How successful has Yanguru been? They've delivered over 4 million, song, uh, 4 million deliveries, 11,000 songs from more than 500 record labels to destination including radio stations and so on and so forth. Uh, I've got a great, I've got the deal they signed here was with Indy 911, one of the world's largest and fastest growing aggregators of independent music. They feature over 45,000 artists and labels, some 250,000 songs, films and titles and 50,000 members. Got a great quote here from Justin Goldberg, president of, as CEO of Indy 911. I had heard that DMDS was being used by the major U.S. record labels and believe that our members should be able to benefit 
benefit from this valuable service as well. That's a great third-party endorsement. The company is trading at 11 cents. That's at the low end of its trading range. It did trade at a high of 42 cents, so you might want to be careful. Look out for any tax loss selling, uh, but this may be indication of where things are to go for Yangaroo. Uh, Capital Gold Corporation, switching our uh, focus over the resources industry. TSX, CGC, OTC, CGLD, they reported financial results for the fiscal first quarter. Some pretty big numbers here. Net sales, $6.5 million U.S. This is based on about 9,200 ounces of gold, sold at an average price of U.S. Seven, of $710 U.S. Keep that in mind in a minute. I want to talk about that. Net income, approximately $1.7 million U.S. That turns out to income per share of about one penny per share. Now, the company declared cash costs of $239 an ounce. That's way below the gold industry's average of approximately $370. What I really like about this story, if they keep producing at this clip, their average sales were at $710 up to the 31st of October 2007. We know full well that gold is trading in the low to mid $800 range now. So if these are their cash costs, we're talking about significant increase in profit in the next quarter and quarters to come. This is a sleeper you might want to watch. They're trading at $0.66, cents and that's near the high end of their trading range. Amarillo Gold trades on the Venture Exchange under AGC. They discovered, they're announcing the discovery of a new near surface gold zone. This uh, gold zone, this is at one of their projects in Brazil. These are five holes drilled. They all uncovered a uh, broad, low grade mineralization spanning almost 400 meters of strike length. For time reasons, I'm going to save you the details, but you definitely want to go take a look at holes 110. 111 and 114 assays are pending for an additional four holes and the drill remains active on the prospect they're trading at 91 cents at their mid-range romeos gold trades on the venture rg otc rmiof and for our friends in germany on the frankfurt exchange under d4r they intersected 7.82 grams per ton of gold over 19.69 meters that's pretty big. That's out of its Newmont Lake property. They've got additional pretty detailed assay results there. Go take a look at this press release. They are trading at 39 cents, significantly below their one-year high of $1.02. So again, look and be careful of tax loss selling, but good news out of Romeos nonetheless. Finally, back to the OTC. I really like this press release. Emerging Group trades there under the stock symbol EMGP. They announced a 50% increase in the annual dividend. They're taking up to 30 cents per share. That's pretty big considering the company right now is trading at $3. You're talking about 10% dividend. Best of all here, uh, let's get the details first. The, the, the dividend will be paid to shareholders record on December 28th, and it's going to be payable on January 9th. Uh, when I first saw this, I wasn't sure. Has this company, does this company have a st historical record of paying dividends? Well, the quote from Bruce Haber, who is the company's chairman and CEO, tells everything I need to know. This dividend is an increase of 50% above the dividend we paid last year and tripled the dividend we paid in 2005. So not only do they have a track record of paying dividends, but in fact, they're increasing dividends along the way. That's a really, really good sign. The dividend increase reflects the extremely strong cash generation and financial performance of emergent group in 2007. What does the company do? They complete. They compete in a vital and fast-growing marketplace providing modern medical equipment to hospitals and physicians. They closed yesterday at $3. Great news out of Emergent Group. As always, if you want to take a closer look at these notes, don't forget about the Agoracom blog. We'll post them there where you can add your due diligence or review them or simply watch the show again. For those of you looking for more great small cap ideas, don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace. We've got close to 80 companies now listed by industry and exchange, so you can find the ones best suited for your portfolio. That's a wrap. Seven great press releases. I know we went a little longer than normal, but these were seven exceptional press releases. Had to report them. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.